What is going on ladies and gents, Michael or Legacy Kill HD back today with a new video for you. Once again making a new video in the upcoming gaming series and today we're discussing Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead 3 as some of you may know. Red Dead Revolver actually came before Red Dead Redemption meaning this would be the third installment in the Red Dead series. Now we're going to be breaking down some huge information within this video, one being a leaked game map of the actual whole setting of this new game which is pretty much confirmed that this will be a prequel and it shows off a whole bunch of new information and we also know of a leaked screenshot that came from alpha which gives us our first actual look at this upcoming title but if you guys haven't already make sure you follow me on twitter and let's start breaking down some of this information regarding the next red dead game and this goes all the way back to 2014 this starts with the take two ceo confirming that red dead was a permanent franchise this pretty much confirmed that we would be getting a new installment for the red dead series at that time nobody really knew when it would be coming or if it was way down the pipeline then 2014 and 2015 went by and things got quiet. Not much was said about what was going on at Take Two or Rockstar Games. All we had was more GTA 5 updates, and then we got the big hint. That was the leaked map that came out in early 2016. That gave us our first look at what Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead 3 would be like. And this was actually confirmed by Tech Radar with a closed source that confirmed that this leaked map was legitimate, and it was pretty much a showcase of the art direction of the next game. The source also continued saying that this game would be a prequel, and as you guys can see from the screenshot of the map, app we also are able to pretty much tell this just because of the fact that the Great Plains do not feature a railroad track this time around. As you may know that the Great Plains was featured in Red Dead Redemption and there was railroad tracks so this game is going to be set a certain amount of years before the actual events of Red Dead Redemption. This map also makes us believe that this game will be a lot less civilized and more of a western than what Red Dead Redemption was. The motto is that it was the dying west and that was pretty much John Marston's journey throughout all of the west seeing how it was developing into I guess the next era in history. Now moving through this we see different various lands. We see something called the Heartlands, the Grizzlies, different areas and many different names such as one being interesting is that we see New Bordeaux which could be a connection to the Mafia series which would be very intriguing and that is possible being that Take-Two actually owns Mafia and obviously Red Dead. Either way if you want me to go a little deeper with this pretty much Take-Two has developers and publishers under them. One being 2K Games which publishes Mafia and then you have Rockstar Games which publishes is like Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead titles. So either way, it's certainly possible if they wanted to make a connection. But if we did get any type of connection in the next games, I'm sure we just get little teases, little Easter eggs maybe to some certain characters, but definitely it seems like this could be a connection to each other's universes. Now heading back to this map, we also see other types of things on this map. We see settlements, we see towns, we see caravan camps, we also see gang hideouts. But there's also one big detail that a lot of people have been discussing, and that is water. And the fact that we have lakes, we have little ocean areas to explore, and it's going to be a lot of fun to see what Rockstar Games has planned for us with this. Now, moving away from this map, we actually got some more information in April of 2016. That being a leaked gameplay screenshot from Alpha. And that pretty much gives us our first little look at what they're going for with Red Dead 3. Now, the significance from this image actually comes from how it's made and certain things that are in the background. One being the palmetto tree, which is native to Florida. Florida, and it's also seen in parts of Louisiana, which does support this map that was leaked. And the other being that a lot of people have said this looks like an updated Rage Engine, which is what they're using right now, and it also shows off the Chromatic Aberration, which was introduced in GTA 5. A lot of users have actually brought up the fact that this image is very similar to Thieves Landing from Red Dead Redemption. This image actually came from Alpha, and it is said to be of concept art of what they were looking to go with for the next Red Dead installment, which would also make a lot of sense why it does look very similar. But moving away from this, there's one other little piece that came from Take Two Interactive, which does give us a little bit of a perspective on when we could be getting this next Red Dead 3 game. And that is coming from an investor call in which the CEO actually confirmed that there would not be a new Rockstar game until at least April of 2017. And following this, Take Two Interactive actually said they were going to have a very big presence at E3, and unfortunately they really didn't. They didn't show off too much, which a lot of people were questioning why Red Dead 3 was not announced at all, or a new Rockstar game period. And that was followed by some various rumors all over the web stating that the announcement for Red Dead 3 was paused because of the Orlando shooting and they pushed it back and the rumor right now is actually stating that we could be getting an announcement as soon of Gamescom 2016. That's all the news and information that we have thus far. Make sure you guys dive into the comment section below. Let me know what you
you guys think Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead 3 will be called? Could it be Red Dead Renegades, which has been rumored? Red Dead Rebellion? It's going to be Red Dead oh, with an R or something similar. It just seems to be their little stick with the franchise. Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Redemption. Not really exactly sure what the new one will be like, but throw your ideas in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about an online multiplayer. It will be very similar to Grand Theft Auto 5's. I think it will be. I feel like they're going to learn their lesson. Red Dead Redemption was fun in a lot of ways with their multiplayer, but I feel like Rockstar Games probably learned their lesson and that they'll know what exactly to do this time around, just being that they made a lot of money off of Grand Theft Auto 5's multiplayer. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys smack that like button if you did enjoy the video or found it any bit informative. Make sure to subscribe for more Red Dead 3 coverage, and I'll see you guys later.